Now to a disturbing case of vandalism to target a Germantown church, and it's not the first time. Tonight, a frustrated congregation wants to know who is behind it all. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore shows us what vandals are destroying. What shocked me is that the total disrespect for God's house. The windows at Zion Hill Church of God in Christ in Philadelphia's Germantown neighborhood. The damage is horrific. Might be shattered. It's our faith and our, um, that is really keeping us together. We should expect God to do everything for us and we do nothing for him. But spirits were far from broken during Sunday service after congregants say someone vandalized the church twice in two weeks. They started with the front windows. They took, seems like, baseball bats and just knocked out the fixtures. For anyone that would do something like that, there's no telling what else they might do. The congregation is used to being in the sanctuary. Now it sits empty and cold with the windows boarded up and without the warmth of the electrifying praises of members. It's somewhat of a setback. Worship is now in the fellowship hall. According to Philadelphia police, the vandals struck on February 8th and January 28th in broad daylight. I'm sure there's more than $50,000 worth of damage. Parishioners say the church has been in the community since 1967 and they heavily rely on donations. Any money raised will go toward fixing the windows and renovating the recreation center. Our whole goal is to reach out to the youth and the community in such a, especially at a time like now. As police continue to look to bring the vandals to justice, the pastor offers his forgiveness. Yes, of course. Church leaders plan to tighten security going forward. In Germantown, Crystal Cranmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News.